Street Fighter 2 V, gonna burn some muscle. That bow dance, I like the fire causing mayhem. I'm not tired, I've been waiting. I'm not forsaken. I'm my own and I'm jaded. Energy comes from my hatred. Call me the villain, cause I've been killing. I got no feeling, I've been dealing with all my demons. I like to feed them, they be chilling. Yeah, they be screaming. I can hear them in my mind. They just wanna find any fight, Welcome any to reason. The dark side. There ain't no place to hide. All your fears are electrified. Welcome to the hard side. Where it's all do or die. Where the shadow to the light. I can feel it in my bones. I'm addicted to the thoughts. I ain't never let it go. Even when it hurts. This is my curse. I'm the king, bring me everything that I've ever wanted, that I need I believe I could be anything, watch me Give me a second to blow, give me a second to grow Be at the top of the show, be at the top like a pro I flip the switch, different mode, now they ain't laughing, no joke Cause I attack when they want Welcome to the dark side, there ain't no place to hide All your fears are electrified, welcome to the hard side Where it's all do or die, where the shadow to the light I can feel it in my bones I'm addicted to the thirst. I ain't never letting go. Even when it hurts, this is my curse.
after all was said and done. That's nice. Yeah. It, it was like done. <laughs> Perfect timing there for the music. Uh, we are back. We are live once again. Ta-da! Close that out there. So got everybody up. Cool. So um, we are live once again uh, for. I was getting ready to say Marvel superheroes uh, for some <laughs> for some Street Fighter. Uh, close. Uh, Capcom did take on Marvel at one point. It's a pretty fun game. So. Uh, <laughs> We need somebody to do notes for this game, and um, who wants to do the recap from last one? I think, Mike, you did the notes for last game. I did. Uh, could you give us the recap then? Um, yeah, give me Since you went, like, super extensive with your notes? Well, that's the thing. Is like, <laughs> I got to go back through my super extensive notes and see what all we did. Um, what was our last night? October 19th. That's when we played. Um, okay, so... We flew to Bay City, USA. Yep. Um, we, uh, let's see, invited Jackson to go with us. I don't know if he actually got a fight because that game went pretty late that night. Yeah. Um, we, I'm just going to sum through a lot of this stuff. We got, we got the arrangements for our fight. We, uh, we met Bob French, um, who was our local handler um we went over to the radisson we found sarah evie went and knocked on the door trying to be a friendly face got a gun pulled on her um, mm -hmm. sweet. what sweet <laughs> um sarah confirmed that the book is a the book that we have is a list of financial transactions her father had figured out the cipher uh, we're pretty sure Billy Walker had her parents killed. She's pretty mad that this has come up in her life again. <laughs> um, she believes that the investigator who investigated her parents' death was paid off. Um, that's the short of what happened with Sarah. We went to the fight. Well, John and Waru hit the town to publicize the fight. Then we went to the fight in San Ysidro. Uh, Waru lost. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Close, but no. Yeah. Sure. Waru lost round seven. Evie took on a kung fu artist. Um, and won. Correct. And then I took on someone I didn't realize was four ranks above me. And one by the skin of my teeth with no willpower left. <laughs> yeah, you mean I, I you dropped off early, didn't you, Derek? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. That fight was terrible. <laughs> like the the only reason I got him was because like the we we had tapped each other out of willpower entirely. And which means he couldn't use, he couldn't abort to blocks or couldn't use his grappling defense on me. And, uh, um, and that let me score. I got five successes on my last move. Every move before that had gotten like one or two damage, if any. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I got five on the last roll and that was it. <clears throat> yeah, I remember I was. I must if if he had ten health, I know he the, the, my opponent only had maybe one or two left if I remember if I remember roughly correctly, and yeah, it was just I lost by the skin of my teeth. So yeah. <laughs> so now, so that that takes us to the end of play. Because it was after midnight, my time, and we were, I was done. Yes. Um, so was there a, was there a fight purse for that? Did we get paid for that fight? You did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something. You say negative 3,000, I'm going to fly out to Arizona and <laughs> talk to you. You're going to be banned from betting at yeah. that point. 
No, Negative I didn't bet. 3, I didn't have willpower to, to bet. <laughs> I'm just asking if we got paid for fighting. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, Evie, uh, you got 2,000. So a thousand mm-hmm. for a uh, thousand for showing up and a thousand for winning. Mm-hmm. Uh, Huntsman, you got a uh, thousand uh, for showing up and a thousand for winning. Um, you also got an additional one thousand uh, for fight of the night. Uh, and Waru, you got a thousand dollars for showing up. <laughs> oh, Bala. Um. How are we managing our money? Are we putting this into a pool? Are we keeping our money and then just contributing to the group fund as? Oh, and you lost a fight. And Derek, you lost a fight, so minus one glory. So you'll have to take off a temporary. If you have uh, uh, any glory at all, then that's nine temporary. And Well, yeah. Just you guys well, know. I do not have any temporary, but I had two, or I don't have any permanent glory, but I did have two temporary, so I erase one. Yep. Okay. Just the gem. So yeah. I have point one glory. Woohoo. <laughs> um, well, I know that we have basically a group debt that we have to pay. Um so say, and then hold up three thousand dollars, Evie. I got three thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> um, basically, well, we have to pay back um our sponsor for the tickets, um, and then we also have to pay that gambling debt from that one fight. So that's going to take out um. I will contribute at least a thousand towards that. Um, the other half is going to have to go towards the ranch for me. I won two thousand, so <coughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> uh, how much okay. did they say? How much the tickets would cost as far as the reimbursement? I think he said. Uh, so I know the the gambling is twenty seven hundred dollars, and then the tickets uh, three thousand. So we have a total of fifty seven hundred to pay. Yes. Hang on. So since the gambling was mostly your deal. Uh, I do kind of expect you to pay the chunk uh, chunk of that, but I have this much to contribute towards it, a uh, thousand towards the total bill. Maybe fifteen hundred, but I gotta have something to pay towards the ranch expenses. Um, I can give eight hundred dollars. Yep, that way it keeps puts a little bit me back in my pocket. Oh and yeah, yeah, and it's all cash. It didn't go to like anybody's account or anything. You were yeah, you're given some greenbacks, some dead presidents. Okay, so I have I I have more for Jerome's FYI. I have four hundred dollars. Woohoo! But I gave eight hundred thousand. But I gave eight hundred to you, Evie. Okay. There's 800. Allows me some spending money. Hold on. So we each owe Puna 10%. So Waru Mm -hmm. owes her 100. EVOs are 200. I owe her 300. So that's 600 total out of the the pot. So we've we've got more then. So we're actually more like 6,200, 6,300. Right? Oh, uh, she's just, she's just adding that to the debt, so everything it's the owed total is, debt. Yeah, the total debt. So uh, just so you know where that's coming from, you're calculating the percentages that we owe for the winnings of our fight, and then the plane tickets, which was three thousand dollars total for all of us. 
And then the $2,700 gambling debt that our lovely husband. $3,000 gambling debt. That was $2,700. I just had $300 $2, in my pocket when I got that. For debt. the flight. Well, I it had was, it as $2,700. So I don't know if that's supposed to be different. Um, it was bass backwards. You had it bass backwards, I think. Twenty seven hundred for the um, for the flight the tickets. Yes, mm -hmm. and three thousand no, for the gambling debt. Right. Let me double check and make sure. No, I said someone gambled twenty seven hundred dollars. Huntsman. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then I have it uh, as a question mark. Take dive. <laughs> no. Um, where did I put it? Okay, I look there. I know I had 3,000 years for the tickets. Yeah, so there's a uh, one time exception, but what are the difference? The cost of the tickets, 3,000. Winnings go to pay off the cost of the tickets. Did we decide who was taking yes. notes? Uh, no, I'm going to take notes anyway, but I think it's. Well, who hasn't taken notes yet? So it'd be Derek? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I got my notepad. Cool. Oh, and uh, Jackson Woodley did end up fighting. Uh, he fought a guy by the name of Mohammed Nadurba. Oh, uh, great. And he won okay. by KO. Sweet. Okay. Yay, so he would have gotten like 2,000 as well. Uh, I would assume, like, the ticket... Did we pay for his ticket, or did he pay for his own? Just want to clarify. Uh, he's not actually with um, your guy's team officially yet, so he had to pay for himself. Okay, so then he's... It, his winnings are his own at that point. You know. Um, okay. Um, Alright, so we still have quite a bit that we still have to pay. We This is not enough to cover... With eight hundred so, from Wally, how, how much did you win? How, how much did you win, Evie? I won two thousand total, okay. but I have to reserve some of it to, right? You know, to pay for expenses. So we're still short. Um, Mike, what do you? What's your plan? Okay. What are you contributing? I was, I was waiting for you to get through all of that. Um, I have a three thousand dollar debt over my head, and I just won three thousand dollars. Okay, so you're clearing that then. So unless we want to fight mobsters <laughs> with guns. No, I know I do want to clear that. I'm going to spend. Uh, that okay, money. so that's forty eight hundred. So we're still short. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, we're spending nineteen hundred dollars. Well, as long as we can play the shit, I'm gonna have to give her the other thousand. I don't have a choice. It was all my winnings. How much are we short? <laughs> and now we're short nine hundred dollars. Can anybody? Pitch in for that because it'll at least break even and I'll have nothing for the ranch, but it is what it is. I've got 200. You can have it. I'll give you the rest of my, my, my earnings for this trip. <clears throat> no, I just, um, I mean, $900 is something that we can work with. I mean, we have. No, no, take it. I've still, got, I've still got $200 that I had in my pocket. Well, but you also need to live, so that's important. So I don't need that much. Maybe I'll, they'll I'll hunt something. I'll get home. Well, I maybe can... they'll take the the winning. Maybe with the plane tickets. I feel like maybe have some some flexibility there. Um, maybe we can book a fight as soon as we get into town and try to recover that. Is there another fight up here we can take? I don't think we have time. 
We haven't uh, returned back yet. Or are we in our hotel room? Like, where are we at? At this point, yeah, you guys have, have come back to... You're, you're probably hanging out in one of your hotel rooms, divvying up to cash and trying to figure out your, your game plan from here. But yeah, you're back at the hotel. <coughs> and are we, are we... Do we have a return bo flight booked already? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. When is we, We've got basically tomorrow. a day, I think. Tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Are there any so flights tonight? Uh, I'm sure a change in the booking would actually cost us more to do that. Well, no, if we're flying out tomorrow, we could hit a flight, a fight tonight. Oh, hit a fight tonight. I heard oh, fight. I... Sorry. Uh, My no, hearing's I, a little off. I'm done fighting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to try to go out and do like a backyard fight sort of deal and see if we can pick up some extra cash that way look out somebody's trying to do kimbo slice <laughs> i don't know if we can i mean we need at least 900 dollars to to break even on this trip realistically speaking it clears the debt that was owed i don't know I'm assuming if we can find fight tonight, I'm going to be at the stats I was at the end of last game, which is one health level and zero willpower. So, well, I, I thought that, like, so with, how would that work then, Jerome, as far as healing? Would that you're, not you're, realistic? You're at full health. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, we mm -hmm. would have rested, if you will, um, yeah. in between. So it's. Yeah, Street Fighter technically works a little bit differently than the other White Wolf games. You get your health back a lot faster unless it's aggravated. Yeah. Um, not okay. fighting werewolves. Was... Right. That that usually helps. Unless you get off a flaming dragon punch first, then it's just, you know, all over. <laughs> Who are... Had a, what's his face's name? Bob French. I'm going to give Bob a call. What about Bob? I'm sailing. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I'm sailing. <laughs> so, are we still? We're still short. How much? Seven hundred. Uh, and about nine hundred dollars, because that's if I give my full two thousand and not save any. So, um, now, the reason you, I want to call Bob is: Are you taking into consideration the additional two hundred I just gave you? No, I am not, and I'm purposely not because you still need money to. to I've got two hundred dollars. So. He lives off the land. I'm a, I'm, rich man. I'm a rich man. I'm a rich man with still with my two hundred dollars. You can have the thousand. Uh, okay. Well, then I guess yeah, that would be seven hundred then. Um, did you count my two hundred? So no, I, I'm not counting. Like, I'm not. Okay. I'm, I'm letting you guys contribute what you want, but at the same time, I don't want to take it. <laughs> um, because it's almost feels like my obligation. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It sounds weird. Um, okay, so basically an extra 400 from you guys. Yeah, so now we only short $500. Uh, 600. No, you're right. 500. No, 600. No, wait. We, we were 900, and we just gave you four. I'm just brain farting hard right now. Sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah, keep that in, man. Oof. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> it rates. Um, okay, so then uh, do you want me to call our manager guy and see if maybe he knows of any last minute fights looking for something? I honestly well. am not holding my, holding my breath, guys, but it's worth a shot. I'm not saying I hold, I'm not holding my breath, but if we have the opportunity, we, we can sneak something in. We don't have to leave till tomorrow. What time is our flight tomorrow? Is it the afternoon, evening? Morning. Hopefully. Morning? Yep, yeah, first thing in the morning. So we're talking like 7 a.m. And what time is it now? Uh, you guys just had your fights, and it was evening time. Yeah, uh, like so, 10, yeah, I mean, at this point, you're probably looking like 1030. Oh, oh, at night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have a flight at 7, oh. which means that we have to be gone by like 5, no earlier, or later. Yeah, I'm going to say the fights oh. are a no from here. I, want to oh, I thought it was like um, in the afternoon. I'm sorry. However, I I what I am going to ask is uh, text actually our um, 
Oh, I always forget his name. Our guy. Um, is it Joe? Joe. Um, and see if there's a possibility of a, a book and a, a fight um, for when we come back. Um, just to keep the momentum going. Okay. I, I mean, at this point, there's such a time difference between where you're at and where he's at. I know. Uh, you can send him a text, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to text it. him, hey, uh, I know it's last minute, but we're riding the momentum of of our wins here on the state side. Um, would love to come back with something to celebrate and possibly another fight, you know. And we've got, we were able to win enough to recover the plane ticket cost. Okay, so you set fire off. You fire here. off that text, uh, and then you end up getting a, uh, a a text picture sent in from a number you don't recognize. No, uh, and it's uh, it's a view in that uh, fight fighting circle uh, here earlier on, like right after you got done fighting. But it's the perspective of it is taken like it from the crowd. Okay, that's weird. Does it? And then a comment pops up. Whoop! When did you get in town? Uh, and new, I'm gonna text back. New phone. New who phone, this? Who this? <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, you get uh, you end up getting uh, the 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 the, the uh, Macaulay Culkin emoji with the uh, <laughs> smiley face, kind of doing the two hands on the side, going, oh. uh, and then the um, uh, another text comes through and it says, uh, it says, okay, well, I guess that means I get to screw with you. Uh, so oh, we're gonna uh, so you get three guesses. And your hint, uh, your hint is, my dad is famous. Sort of. It's M. Bison Jr. Okay. I don't know. I mean, that could be a lot of things. Do I recognize the area code at all or anything like that? Uh, the area code is to here. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess I figured that, um, uh, and there's no previous text history. <laughs> that, no that's idea. that, that's that, that meme. It's like, uh, you know, so the give, you know, name, name one thing. It's like, gets this and it's like, all right, that, that's my fault. I, you know, I set the bar too that's low. Too easy. <laughs> I, I send a, a meme picture of the whole question mark, question mark, like, you know, the Neil deGrasse Tyson sort of question mark. What is this? Okay. <laughs> sort of oh. like, and he's like, and he's like, okay, but like you're going to cost me or you're going to, you're going to owe me for the second hint. What? My, mo- my mother, is, my mother is, is probably more famous than my dad. Oh, is this Keiko's son? Good guess. <laughs> um, Who's son? Keiko's kid. I forgot what even my, my own character's name was. Uh, yeah, I don't have the notes for that. Are, are you Keiko's kid? So you get uh, you, you end up getting two thumbs up emojis. Mm. Although uh, he says, although I'm surprised you didn't actually call me by my name. Rachel forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I legit forgot. I don't have notes from that. That was like a decade ago. <laughs> like, don't be mad. Legit forgot. Been through a lot lately. So another text comes through and it says, wow, thanks. So that's what three people that's forgotten about me now. So back to my original question. When did you get back in town? Um, 
and I'll say like what day we arrived. I forget it was like what two days ago or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, day before yesterday, in town for a fight, which you clearly saw. So he's like, "Heck yeah, I was in the audience." Got a good team so far. You interested? Oh, uh, sends a text back. Yeah, I, I don't know about that, but uh, that's. I guess you're here with the other guys. Who's your squeeze? No squeeze in here. <laughs> okay, so he um, sent, he sends the Macaulay Culkin uh, emoji again. Just oh. yeah. Um. On my way back to well, on my way back tomorrow morning. Uh, back to the homeland. Uh, so he sends he sends a text. Then he uh, sends another text. And he says, um, "Are you free for dinner? Like now? Now, ten thirty? Question mark." And she just she's typing this out. Um, yeah, sure. As long as I can be back in time for my flight. Uh, you can bring your your posse if you want. Ooh, where to, where at? And he says, well, hang on. They're not, like, going to roll up and sing, like, the Humpty Dance or something really bizarre, are they? N- no, I don't even think one of them knows what that is. Okay, cool. Water. <laughs> <clears throat> we could. FYI, the 1030 San Diego I'll time, ask. like, 5 in the afternoon the next day, Sydney time. So, it actually um, is a better time for us. Uh, he says, uh, um, "Yeah, uh, so I'm at uh, I'm at uh, Club Moon. Just uh, come on down." All right, see you there. Um, can I do like an intelligence check or something if I remember his name? Because I legit don't. Sure. I feel terrible about that. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you go ahead and give me? Uh, we'll say. Um, hang on, you know I've got character sheet pulled up. Uh, we will say it'll be an intelligence and investigations check. Uh, difficulty eight. You haven't seen him in a while. Ooh. Or that's true. Or... One. Okay. One second. Drop, oh, yeah. Drop that in Facebook chat. Okay, thank you. Cannot believe it. I guess that on the second guess. <laughs> Not bad. Can you drop a picture of him? I forgot. I sure can. He looks like. What Pretty sure he's that? hot, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Down, Rachel. What's his appearance? I know. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so that's Nico, what uh, as an added character, was one of my characters in an OG Street Fighter game. And yeah. She had kids later on. Many, many moons ago. <sighs> okay. So, um, yeah. so I'm going to knock on... I mean, we're not sharing the room, and we are. We, are we sharing a room? I forgot. No, are we but I room? was assume I was assuming that you were actually doing all that around them. Uh, doing. The oh yeah, you yeah. Were, I figured we'd be in one room. You were still figuring yeah. out uh, the money and whatnot at that point. Yeah. Um. 
she's gonna after she's uh, after we figured out the money and stuff and she's like sitting there sort of like cross leg on the bed and like she looks up suddenly at you guys hey you guys want to go to a club food I know we have an early flight, but I haven't seen, like, I haven't seen this person in, like, years, so, but he invited us out to Club Moon. If you guys want, you don't have to, but I thought it might be nice to You're muted, catch up Mike. with a little friend. I forgot I had muted while I was coughing. Um, oh. Um, uh... That sounds awesome. I had wanted to go see Sarah one more time before we leave, though. Can I meet you there? Wait, you're going to go see Sarah? Yes. She can point she her gun. She doesn't really know her. you, though. What? Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. <laughs> um, What's okay. it called? The moon, the moon Club? Or the Moon... Club, uh, Club Moon. Moon. Oh, Club Moon. Yep. I'm gonna look it up as well. Yeah, well, I know. I had to bring up Werewolf tonight, to. didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm concerned that Sarah is not there anymore. Well, we can find out. Uh, all right. So, how far away is Club Moon from the hotel that Sarah's staying at? Oh, from where Sarah's staying at? Um, the based on where she's at, it's at the other side of town. Club Moon is actually so like uh, a 20, 30 minute drive. Uh, Uber ride or something. Yeah, that would be a good Ish. guess. The uh, Club Moon actually sits um, just off of uh, the coast, and in fact, it um, overlooks the area where. Um, oh, what was it called? It was. Um, shoot it was the place where uh, mtv used to shoot um when they when they did their uh the real world no, idea. no not real world um <laughs> hey what's going on the major 13 um no i can't um shoot it was one it, it basically it wasn't uh, it wasn't their reality tv shows it was where their vjs would cut to during the summer break i think it was the summer break house that they had right there that was right off of the uh, uh, San Diego boardwalk. Hmm. Oh, hey, okay. Colin. Ocean, Sorry, I forgot. Uh, size. I forgot uh, Colin goes by the Major 13. So Colin's in the chat right now. Oh, hey, Colin. Hey, Colin. Boy. Um, okay, so do you want company on that? I mean, I, I just, no, I don't know I'm how good. that's going to go. Neither do I. But, you know, I'm a good talker. Um, and maybe she's not there. Go see your friend. Maybe you should take water with you. Unless, water, you want to come with me? I, I, that's up to you. Well, uh, I'm going to go meet up with him and have dinner and stuff. You're welcome to come with. Is this somebody that you want up. You want a company met with? with? Uh, I mean, it seemed like... Uh... Your one-sided conversation seemed to be a little bit uh, evasive on your end. Well, well, I didn't have a conversation with him. We just had a text exchange. <coughs> oh, that that's right. It was, was text. Huh? I thought that he had been elsewhere, but honestly, I haven't seen him in probably three or four years, if not more. Is this something um, that you want to have a one-on-one -on -one with him? No, he actually invited you guys to come along with. Uh, you might know of him. His name is uh, Abe Tsukino. Have I ever heard of this guy? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no, no. Maybe his parents. Keiko. Uh, did you make him? a role for Keiko? And and uh, she says his father's name, but yeah. Um, intelligence and what? Uh, it is going to be intelligence and investigation. Uh, difficulty seven. Uh, 
Ooh. I got oh, yeah. I lost. <laughs> M -M, huh? Ooh. Yeah, you forward know. slash mm space and what did what'd you say it was difficulty seven i know but intelligence and intelligence, intelligence and investigation I heard of that guy isn't he a gangster <laughs> isn't he like the al capone of bay city two space seven i got one hey, success not, hey not bad and Colin's asking, two. so Australian Sopranos? <laughs> All right. This morning, I got yourself a gun. I need to go back and watch that series all over again. That was such a good series. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, heard, I'll heard of them. Yeah. That's, that's their boy. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of go back a little bit. We used to train together a bit. Um Keiko and, was uh, never just, uh, Keiko never managed to make a uh, world fighter status like up there with Ryu and whatnot, but she did get quite a bit of fame. So she was a, a fairly well known uh, martial artist. And then um, when she semi retired, she ended up doing a reality TV show mm -hmm. that centered around her uh, her significant other, which is Robert Garcia at the time, uh, and her kids. And so, what's her name? Keiko. Mm -hmm. Keiko, K-E-I-K-O. Tsukino, T-S-U-K-I-N-O. Yeah. And uh, she did a few movies, too. Keiko did. So, but I don't think you'd be that familiar with that version of it. <laughs> Considering that I'm not That's exactly high-tech. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically, uh, you know, we used to train together back in the day and, uh, he and, or his, uh, my dad and, and his, his parents, uh, you know, used to be, uh, involved in the circuit together. Oh, what? Well, either way, I mean, you guys might have to make up your mind for me. I don't, I don't care who I go with. You need to make up your own mind, man. I'm kind of hungry to catch up with with somebody and and have food because I'm hungry too after tonight. So you know if you're hungry too and you haven't been around here before, I say you come with me. Go with Evie. Yeah. But hey, let us know if you need something. Like we're prepared to leave at any point. Like because I, I I'm just I don't know. I I am a little concerned about what you're gonna find over there, but I wouldn't be surprised if she's gone. Me either. Worth a shot. Yeah. All right. Good Might luck. take her, you know, more than a few hours to get her affairs in order. So I'm I'm banking on that. Mm. Well, we'll see. All right. So then uh, I will get off the bed and um, basically just say, hey, you know, I'm, you know, take 15, get ready and do whatever, and we'll I'll order an Uber and uh, make a plan. Okay. So then it's water. I will make sure so it's, by it's, the way to have all my stuff packed beforehand. <clears throat> <laughs> so I'm ready to go the okay. next morning. Like uh but yeah. it's uh Waru and uh Evie going to Evie. the club. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh and then John John the Huntsman uh going to check on uh Sarah. Sarah. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. yep. I think John the Huntsman and I think John the Fisherman and I'm just I, I've, I've been a prime a primus mode lately so anyways uh, so um, Evie and Water is you guys uh, you kind of dressed it as you were uh, you come to uh, Club Moon it's actually uh, I'm gonna grab a drink real quick yeah go ahead um, so it's on top of a three story building. Uh, so it's got kind of like the plexiglass uh, walls up along the side so people don't, you know, try to take a, a header off the top if they get too drunk. Uh, oh, so but, this is on the on the top top? Yeah. Like open air? Oh, okay. <laughs> like rooftop sort of deal? Yes. Uh, actually, Colin just Henceforth, mentioned. Club Moon. And his name is John C. <laughs> Colin.
Colin uh, mentioned John Cena, and I have a soundbite for that, so I thought I'd throw that out there for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so you have to uh, take uh, a guest elevator on up. You guys get carded, obviously, to, you know, determine if you're of age. Uh, it is a swanky looking place. Um, thankfully, uh, the way you're dressed isn't, doesn't, um, go too far outside the norm given where you're at, uh, because it's not that far from the, like you can walk from here to the beach, uh, if you wanted mm -hmm. to. So which that tends to get a lot of boardwalk traffic, uh, you know, by itself. So, um, as you guys are going up to the top, it, it's, it, it, it almost looks like, um, in a good way, mind you, uh, that Miami Vice kind of threw up here. <laughs> like it's got that, it's got that kind of eighties neon vibe going to it with, you know, with some palm trees here and there and, uh, uh, and backlit floors that kind of illuminate as well as, uh, backlit, uh, siding along the walls to kind of give it, uh, you know, a little bit of illumination uh, at night. Uh, and as you uh, as you come walking in there, you see uh, you end up seeing Abe uh, sitting across the way, uh, just past the the dance floor. Uh, he's in uh, he's in just a, a basic, uh, you know, white tank top. He's got a Hawaiian shirt on. Uh, he's got some loose fitting pant uh, loose fitting uh, like white pants on and sandals. Hmm. <laughs> um. Do you still hold the the thing where if you dress up a little bit, your yes. appearance goes up? Okay. So, yeah. So, she's dressed up a bit because she looked it up beforehand and, like, looked up the dress <laughs> okay. and stuff. So, um, whatever she had, she just worked with. Um, okay. So, she will basically look for him and just sort of wave and just kind of pull water with her. She'll grab his hand and say, oh, there he is, and uh, be led towards him. So basically, so you worked with what you got. So you basically did your makeup, uh, did your hair real quick, pushed up the girls, uh, dropped a button, and <laughs> pretty much <laughs> ready to go. Okay. All right. So uh, you go walking across there, and and he's he's uh, um roughly the same height as some of you. He's about uh, six foot two, so he's he's on the uh, tallish side. I think uh, water is small, right? I think you're muted. And he is muted. Yeah, water was five. I don't. I, don't I, never I never recorded my. Oh no, I did. It's, yeah. I'm five foot nine. Yeah, you're five. You're five pounds. foot nine, one hundred fifty. Yeah, I wrote that down here. So. Yeah. There it is. It's under my. It's right next to my physical attributes. But yeah. Yeah. So he's actually a little so. taller than both of you. Uh. So. Uh, and he motions, he motions you, you two over and he gives, uh, you know, Evie a hug and he's like, wow, it has been what, four or five years now. Good Lord. At, at least, um, God, the last time I saw you, you had a bit less hair. I see you've grown it out a bit. She just sort of like uh, uh, one I, of these numbers and just slicks it back because yeah. she can. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's fine. Yeah, he's like, uh, it runs in the family. So, um, is what so, it is. This is Water. Water. Water, by the way. He's, uh, he's part of our, um, um, the, uh, the Wallaby Ranch, uh, fight team. Oh, right, right. Uh, you've got a, we're out here. you've got a team going again, right? Yeah. Yeah. My, you know, since my dad hasn't been around, um, you know, it's, uh, it was time to just jumpstart things and um water here has been a great great addition as well as uh we've got john uh our huntsman uh he's out doing huntsman things uh, um, <laughs> um okay <laughs> he's on the hunt you might say <laughs> we saw him walk yeah out. he's went, went to meet up with somebody too so you know Oh, all right. Well, I, fair enough. Uh, yeah, he had a, a pretty good win over uh, that Vadim character. Uh, yeah, kind of apparently impressive. he was higher ranked than him. I was actually kind of surprised at that, too. And it actually works out great because we're leaving tomorrow morning. And when we get back, we're going to be doing some additional fights 
Um, and this is just honestly all going to help us. Uh, yeah. So, um, and he, he motions a waiter down and, and he looks at two of you. He's like, uh, whatever you want to drink is, is on me. So just, uh, give him your order. Oh, sweet. yeah. She'll take him up on that offer and order something to, to snack on and something to drink. Um, something light alcoholish ish. Okay. Yeah. So Operators. then like, uh, they, and they have some appetizers, so you probably get something like that then. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he says, so um, I wasn't really expecting to see you at the fight circle. Um, that's uh, a little on the illicit side. So am I led to believe you're leading a little bit shadier life than um, when last we met? No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just that. Honestly, we had to make up some debt, frankly. Um, <laughs> and um, we thought that getting some exposure out here on the state side could be really good for us on the other side. Um, because there's a tournament that's coming up and um, we're supposed to be going in it, you know, as a group. So we thought our odds could be better. I'll bump up, bump up things. Oh, I, I didn't know that uh, you were kind of hard up for cash. Um, you know, just not necessarily hard up, but I just got to work for it a little bit more, I suppose. You know, things have changed a bit. You know, again, dad's been gone for a while now and um, things have just gotten sort of stale at the ranch and I'm just trying to revive it. Okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> I've got a bang beagle in my backyard. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, I can, I can actually hear him faintly, mm -hmm. but I can hear him. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> so he, he says, so you are looking for some quick cash then. Uh, yeah, um, of the legal variety, hopefully. She just sort of gives him a side eye knowingly. Um, it but depends on what she's talking you about. In mind? <laughs> uh, yeah, I might have something. Um, this kind of works out. Um, uh, what tonight? Because we're leaving tomorrow morning early. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it would obviously have to be tonight uh, based on your schedule. But if you're interested, I mean, I could, I could float you a couple thousand. Wait, what do I got to do for this? Well, let's, let's say, uh, there, hold on a second. Ah, I dropped something. There we go. I have to pop another button. She just kind of. <laughs> he's like is. oh well i mean if you want to do that i mean as the phone yeah. music starts yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like boots you know, the, all of a sudden the spice channel music starts playing in the background <laughs> so he you says i mean i'm not gonna say <laughs> no to that but no uh, uh let's just say i've uh i've made some friends that uh could probably use some encouraging words to go the other way. What do you mean by that? Well, encouraging words. Well, how we much? About... How much do you really want to know? Are these like, like some kids that are, going, that are hanging out on the other side of the tracks or something? Well, that they're not kids. <laughs> they're definitely not kids. But there, there's some uh, people that... uh, there, there are some guys that, um, let's just say some words were exchanged uh, and they didn't like the fact that I got one up on one of theirs. And so now a group of them are uh, starting to come around occasionally and trying to discuss things in a lively fashion. Hmm. So what, do you want to offer them 
what a compromise they beat me and or i beat them and they leave you alone oh no no of course not no nothing nothing like that uh i i I give you i give you some cash we thrash them they go away And this wouldn't be what this would basically be what like a, a, a we're basically jumping them. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be so primitive about it, but I mean, yeah, I, I guess it would kind of be. She's so innocent. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I'm trying not to get in trouble in a foreign country. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Not that I don't want to do it. It's just that I could use the money at the same time. Like, do I kick people's butt to do that? He's like, okay, look, money, <laughs> money talks. You already said you you need some. What 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 are we talking here? What what would you want uh, to 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 help me out with this? Wait, so it wouldn't just be me doing this on my own. You would actually be there to help. Oh, of course. I got to put my name to it. You know, I mean, they they, they got to know they can't mess with me. They don't know you're going to yeah. go back to Australia afterwards. Dog in the background. <laughs> now I'm glad we split the party and I have bail money. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to look to water. What do you see? Do you want to go and teach some schoolyard bullies a lesson? For a couple Ooh. grand, say three. Well, I mean, it sounds tempting, but I mean, I mean uh, no offense to you, eh? But I don't know you, and how how do I how do, what what kind of proof do I have that, 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 that these guys aren't on the up and up, and you're the shady one? I mean, that's true. He's got a point. He says, "Okay, fair enough." I just figured. I, mean, I, I really I fig- mean no offense. I, I mean, you've been you've been more than cordial and very nice to us, but but uh, I hope you understand what I mean. Uh, no, I get it. I mean, if Evie doesn't want to vouch for me, it's it's fine, you know. Oh, I can vouch for you. I just literally have a flight in less than twelve hours that I have to be on. Okay, so we'll make uh, it a fast beating. <laughs> Hmm, I wish I had a morality sort of <laughs> pendulum here. Yep. White Wolf games don't have that. They don't. Well, my, they, they, well, they uh, have humanity, I, wanted... I should say, but that's about it. You know, they have what? Right, I'm going to roll die. Oh. Uh, we'll say odd, yes, even no. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Nope. Okay. So even or odd. So. You said odd, yes. No, even I thought no. I said. He... Now you're confusing me. You said odd, odd, yes, even no. Okay, fine. So we'll say yes. All right, fine. Whose butt am I kicking? <laughs> he says, "All right, great." He says, "So are are you in two Aru or?" Don't feel obligated. Uh, this is something that. You know, I need to leave some lasting memories behind. <laughs> when in Rome. All right. Go look out from a girl from a girl here. When in Rome, stomp on some peasants. <laughs> exactly, yes. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Senate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will be right back. I am going to go strangle a beetle. Sure. (laughs) (laughs) I actually have to take a bio real quick myself. Sorry. Okay. No, then I will get over to Mike. (laughs) Well, I'm here. So, yeah. All right. So, Mike, you uh, at this point hop in Uber and go on over to uh, the hotel that Sarah was staying at. Of course, you already know where it's at. Yeah. So, no one's obviously going to stop you. You look like you're... uh, (laughs) <laughs> or in Mike's case, he can clack coconuts together and mimic traveling. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so you walk through the lobby, uh, head back up to the you know the elevator, and and go across and up to a room. Um, check in the hallway first, see if anybody's hanging out in the hallway. Uh, the hallway appears to be clear. All right, knock on our door. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So there's a, a a little bit of a pause. Sorry, say that again. No, I just said there's a little bit of a pause. Um. And then you hear from behind the door. What do you want? I want to talk. There, yeah? I'm a, oh, I'm a I'm a friend That's of Evie's me. from earlier. I know. I recognize you. What do you want? Well, I want to not talk in the hallway, if that's okay with you. You can you can point at me, <laughs> but uh, roll your charisma and let's see. I need to get that guy to redo the Street Fighter character sheets. Uh, we will go. Manipulation wouldn't be, subject, wouldn't be subject. I'm technically I'd be looking for expression right here, but that's in the V20 system and not this one. Uh, so we'll go leadership. <laughs> okay. I I don't like the fact that the skills I don't have aren't listed on the character sheet. Right. I think right, I'm. So I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going to ask the guy because he does take requests, even if it costs me a little something, you know, if he could redo the Street Fighter character sheet, but like the V21. So it has everything listed down. That would be nice. All right. So I got three successes. Hi. So. Bumping that charisma to four was like the best thing I did. <laughs> So there's a wow. there's a bit of a sigh and you can hear the door unlocking and as she you know opens it up she's got the gun drawn. That's fine. I got it. hands up and I walk in. So you walk in. She tells you to uh, shut and lock the door behind you. All right. So I'll do it. I'll sit down, non-threatening. Okay. And she says, "I probably tower over her." So. Uh, you were what six two? I think what we have listed down for you yeah i guess yeah i mean that's what i am in real life so <laughs> yeah so I you're 62 uh, 185 so a svelte 62 um yeah so i mean she you know uh, you know she again she's still got the gun on you kind of stepping back she's still in clothes it looks like she's actually uh uh packing she's been packing up her suitcase yeah at this point she she was about to run hey okay. well I'm, I'm glad i caught you she says, so speak your piece. What what why do you guys keep hassling me? Well, because we got involved in this. We've already they've come they've come to the ranch. We've gotten in, involved in fights. They know we're involved in this. So we're in this now, like it or not. We can't just walk away from it. I didn't ask you to be in, in any of this. I didn't say we did it because you asked us to be. They they came to us and now we're involved. So not not for you and i'm not saying because of you but we're in it and we're on your side and the only way i see for us for this whole thing to get over with is if that book gets translated right now you look like the only person who can translate it and whether that's true or not they're going to keep coming after you as long as that's the case uh roll again uh at this point uh same thing. We'll go charisma and leadership. Zero successes. Oh. So she, I mean, she kind of cringes, um, you know, when you say it that way. She doesn't really. <laughs> All right, Mike, you've got a reroll thanks to Colin. <laughs> All right. Can't use it yet. You can use it uh, next time around. Okay. But you've got one. Make sure to mark it down. Thank Thanks, you, Colin. Colin. Muchos. Gracias. He may not be here playing, but he can still help. Yeah. Redeeming rules is always a good thing. Let me write that thing down. All right. So 
So, I, I mean, she didn't really buy it as you sold it. And even you, after you said it, you were kind of like, yeah, that didn't probably come off her. <laughs> and she's just like, but I was hidden until you guys tracked me down. Look, I'm not an investigator. I beat people for money, okay? And we found you. So if they had anybody who's trained in this shit, they were on your tail anyway. Okay, roll again. <laughs> Three successes. Oh, that's right, because you have a four in your charisma now, right? Four charisma, yeah, baby. Four <laughs> charisma, all right. Four horsemen. Uh, so, uh, she, she kind of curses under her breath and and scuffs her her shoe into the into the the very thin carpet that's on the uh, the ground in this hotel. And she says, "All right, well, what do you what do you propose?" I mean, I can't uh, go back I mean... to I can't go back to Australia. Well, maybe you can at some point, but we got to get this book taken care of one way or another. We either got to figure out how to translate it and make it so you're not the only person who seems to be holding the key anymore or something. I mean, even if I hand this book back, he doesn't know that I haven't recorded all the pages. So the information is now in the wild. But so the only thing, the only single point of failure from his point of view is that you seem to hold the key. He's afraid that you hold the key. And if you do, and if you gave it to me or us, we could translate the book and take that target off your back. Unless he thinks I've already got a copy. I mean, I'd be surprised if you didn't think that anyway. I'd be surprised if you don't. Mm. Oh, this is crazy. Help us out. Let us ask you things when we need to, and you know, see if we can we can get ourselves out of this book mess. And if you can come back to Australia, I'm pretty sure we have a job waiting for you. What? Look, we got we're like running this ranch. You know the ranch. You came there once. The, uh, like it's in yeah. dire straits. We could really use a business manager. And I know you you have business skills. So I'll talk to Evie. Maybe we can get you on the payroll to help us out. Uh, um, okay, I didn't expect <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> all right, if you can if you can find a way to get these guys off off my back permanently I'll get you the other half that you can translate that and, and hopefully put him away the other half alright there's two books yeah alright <laughs> at least that's how my father designed it his book is the one that is able to translate everything Kind of like he did work the math out and figured out the the cipher to it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if, you, if you. you look at both and kind of line them up, it it it's supposed to line up. I got you. Okay, yeah. Um, you don't have that here, do you? Not on me, no. Okay. So I got a flight tomorrow. I got to be at the airport at like five or six a.m. to go go home again. So I don't know if you want to get it to me in the morning or. Uh, she says, how about I give you the key? All right. Have you seen Get Shorty? <laughs> Out of character, I have not. <laughs> okay. That's the whole premise of Get Shorty, is, is that there is money in a locker. All right. And nobody wants to touch it because they think the feds are watching. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and so she, she, said, she hands you a key and she says... Uh, this is to an airport locker. Back home? <laughs> no, here. Here, okay. All right, I'll uh, 
How do I contact you? Uh, she tear is she basically takes like one of the flyers in the hotel that they've got for you know, whatever they're advertising on, on the dresser, uh, tears a piece of it off and writes the number down to her cell phone. All right. I'll which is all local that. to here. Yeah. All right. Hope to <laughs> hope we'll, we'll talk soon. Okay. Uh, if anybody knows that I'm here and they're watching that locker, just, you know, heads up. Well, like I say, I do beat people in the face for fun. So and then you're probably better at it than I am. So uh, I just wanted to give you a fair heads up. Uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, know. I don't know. All right, I'll I'll make my exit. Okay, and can you call next time rather than just show up since you got my number now? Well, I, yeah, next time, okay. now that I have your number. Okay, it, thanks. Because I don't expect you to be here come morning. Uh, well, uh, pending the outcome of this, maybe. I, I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. You should grab another hotel room for a night or two. Just in case anybody followed me here. Okay. Uh, then I'm gone. All right. Out we go. <laughs> doing the doing the whole uh, coming to America thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. And I'll, I'll text. Let your soul glow. <laughs> Love that movie. Uh. And I'll, I'll text these guys. You know, uh, done with my errand. Where where do I meet you? Or should I go How back long did that take him? I, I mean, by the time you're negotiating at this point. You haven't quite gotten you know made your deal yet with him. Uh, is when you guys get the text from him. Um, I'm gonna text him back. Um, go into a second place to kick some ass and take names. <laughs> we'll be back soon. You said, sorry, we'll be back soon? We'll be back soon. Okay. Then then I had to, you know, some bar near the hotel. <laughs> okay. That works. So you're not going to include the huntsman in that? <laughs> I mean, I I'm tell gonna him we're going to go beat up a bunch of bull schoolyard bullies, and he doesn't know why. <laughs> I don't know if he'd be up for that. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so at that point, then uh, Abe pays for your uh, whatever it was you guys got to eat and drink, uh, and motions for the two of you to follow him. Where are we going, by the way? Uh, he says you'll see. It's a uh, it's it's maybe forty minutes from here, closer to Escondido. Forty minutes. Wow. All right. As long as you can guarantee I'm back before my flight. Your flight is when? It's at 7, but I got to pick my stuff back up at the hotel by 5. So he looks at a wrist that doesn't have a watch on it. And he says, yeah, we're good. I look at the time on my phone. What time? <laughs> how much time do we have? Like uh, five from, hours? Uh, five, six hours. Yeah. Oh, Killing me here. I'm going to have to sleep on the plane. Well, dude, I'm out, telling you, it's going to take all night. Out of, char <laughs> out of character. It's not a hemet, is it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, uh, Darth Vader, no. Make sure no. to we stop on the way uh, and get a couple of Red Bulls. Uh, he says, all right, it, fine, fine. It's going to be a long night. So, uh... Uh, yeah, Abe at this point uh, takes you guys down to his uh, takes you down to his uh, H2 uh, it's like it, it's tricked out it's got a custom paint job uh, he's got a humor 
you know um it's actually it's actually like um it's got kind of a lime green look to it it's like i mean it's it stands out uh i just look at him like really abe really this (laughs) and he's like yeah i got a good deal on it what the cost of the earth and the ozone and all this (laughs) just kidding i'm just kidding (laughs) He's like, hey, wait, where did you go, hippie? And she's just, I didn't. Hey, nice, nice wheels. <laughs> a bit obvious, though, really. Come on. So uh, at this point, when he, he gets in and, and he, uh, uh, he, you know, turns, turns the vehicle on, starts pulling out, uh, you hear what sounds like an updated version to Ice Ice Baby start playing. Uh, and it's actually called uh, Vanilla Sprite, and it's with Vanilla Ice, uh, featuring Rick Ross oh, and Forgiato Blow. God. <laughs> so, anybody interested to uh, look that up, you can. I've I've seen that. <laughs> oh my gosh! <coughs> so, you know, he Vanilla leans, Sprite. Yep, he leans he leans the seat back a little bit, and uh, you know, rolls out hitting the freeway. God, you are too much, Abe. Uh, he's uh, he's like, oh, come on, now it's not like you know you've seen me in a while. Live a little. I mean, this is just like old times. <laughs> Only says, a god of your car. Well, I mean, if it was like old times, it would be you know me accidentally walking in on you, but or the back seat. <laughs> he's like, I mean, all the more reason to speed this up, right? Uh, yeah. Oy. <laughs> she just pats you on the, the hand. That's okay. He's like, we yeah. just haven't seen each other in a really long time. So, 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 so tell, tell, tell me a little bit about these, uh, these are gentlemen we're going to meet. Are, are they, are they, uh, just brawlers or are they? professional they're no they're 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 street thugs uh he says yeah, what uh what happened um, with that oh yeah um they're um they're koreans uh that kind of got tied in with some of the triads but nothing to worry about there they're kind of like low-key loser type they just have numbers and try to push things around in the uh in their in what they deem their block problem is they're all the way up in, here in escondido and they're trying to mosey in on uh, uh bay city i uh, so is it something that they would they be easily intimidated I, I mean they may but i think they need to get the rick james treatment <laughs> yeah they really <laughs> drive that home he knows what that means well, I'm, I'm not familiar with who's 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 rick james uh, he says, oh, shoot. Um, I'm not used to people not having TV. Uh, five fingers to the face? It's, it's like a punch, yeah. So um, that several mm-hmm. times over. So you're well, telling me that the people that we're going to... If, if I were to use a little bit of... Uh, our group of triads. Uh, tied to them, yeah. Hi to him. Like, what does that even mean? Just this is awesome. they're part of the triad group. They're low level. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, oh, that's a way to put this. Um, Koreans and Chinese people tend to not like one another. So when the Chinese, or at least underworld, from what I can tell, so when the Chinese are utilizing Koreans, they're really kind of just like scrub labor. They're not really in with them. If you if you follow, kind of like you know people who aren't really Italian, really aren't you know in the mob. They might be working for them. They might know some folks, but they're not really the mob. It, it cannon fodder. Yeah, I mean it's a good way to put it. At least that's probably what the the triad uh, group is using them for. But I, I, I'm not I'm not looking that far up the food chain. I just want to I just want to rock some skulls and. Uh, uh, you know, get them off, get them off my case, keep them back on their own lawn. If this comes back to me in all the way in Australia, I am, I'm coming after you. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> the way you put that is tempting. Well, I mean, it should be, but at the same time, <laughs> can, it should be a threat. We can, we can, <laughs> they can come and try to find me. I've got about 16 million square miles that I can hide in. Yeah, That's see, true, there you yeah. go. Just follow him into the 16 million square miles. Just not for a long time, obviously. That's where I live, man. Yeah, no, I Fine. get it. Australia. Right. You're talking like the Outback, right? Oh, yeah. I'm only dressed up like this because I'm up here in the civilization. I'm yeah, like sure wearing like some dirty jeans with some clothes. holes in them and some. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's usually in some in some shorts and uh, well, just shorts. <laughs> <laughs> He says, hey, I, I'm that to each their own. All right, well, let's go. Um, I lean over to Evie and I'm all, you, you think I should, you think I should, uh, you know, flash a bit of my pyrotechnics when we get there? Mm, no, no, don't, don't do that unless you have to. I honestly think that we're just there to show them to not you know mess with him I guess I don't know she just shrugs <laughs> well, I mean, if you feel it's... comfortable it's up to you but I, I expect we're gonna be you know basically you know don't underestimate these guys okay just because they're low level thugs she air quotes doesn't mean they, they don't know a thing or two you know Hey, Roll. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna shortchange him. But I just don't know what I'm dealing with here. You, you're more familiar with this area. Do it. I mean, I, I expect this this to be sort of a low profile fight. So maybe try not to make too much of a show if you can help it. All, all right. I don't know where we're going per se. I mean, I. Cause you hey, know, I'm, I'm, Dave, where are we going? Like uh, honestly, like we're, go, we're going. He says to the, Escondido. Yeah, it's, that it's is. outside of Escondido. It's a gym they tend to hang out at. Okay, so this is where we're going to be at, and she'll point it out, I guess, on the phone. Um, I will send a quick message to John. Say, hey, this is this is the area we're we're at at the moment, or we'll be at soon um, that's be saying <laughs> took a job to, to, to make some money uh, potentially so I'll let you know soon I'm going to take water with sightseeing <laughs> in beautiful downtown Escondido yep. <laughs> down under well it's not him it <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Oh wait. Yeah, and yeah. and Mike, I know you mentioned it in the chat that you watched Vanilla Sprite. It's actually not bad. Uh, uh, you know, it's a, you know, when, when he wants to, uh, Vanilla Ice can actually rap uh, really well. It's just he got kind of tied to that that goofy white boy kind of thing for a while and ninja rap. He was too early for Eminem. <laughs> yeah. Cause his, uh, cause his jam that he had with uh bloodhound gang on their first album was actually really cool. Yeah. But they announced yeah, it was like Rob Van Winkle because he was still going through the whole vanilla ice uh, issues at that point in time. Was it on hooray for boobies? Uh, uh, One fierce beer coaster. That was the name of the album. Yep. Oh, okay. Is that the? Is that before Hooray? I believe so. Yeah, it's the. I think it's their first album. Hmm. I'm not super familiar with all their stuff, but yeah. So, uh, you guys are. He ends up exiting off of the freeway. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell uh, if you're not in San Diego at this point. It's nighttime in, in Escondido, so. Not like it's, you know, there's, there's, I mean, there's obviously plenty to see there, 
but it doesn't you know aesthetic wise at least from where you were at it doesn't look much different unless you were like smack dab downtown what was the name of the uh asian mob uh the the triad triad that's right yep Hmm. So I think Edie will. I mean, I'm not sure what she wore to this. <laughs> this whole place. I'm guessing that it was probably a, a dress of some sort. Okay. Uh, or a, a skirt. So, or not a skirt, but um, I'm trying to find ways to secure her clothing. <laughs> like she's gonna like tie her shirt like really well and okay. uh, just trying to make sure things don't fall out mm -hmm. i don't really know how to do that but all right <laughs> you're going to secure it as best as you can mm -hmm. okay so you guys pull in and it's uh the gym that you guys are at uh is in a rundown um old shopping center where like the main building was probably a, a department store of some kind and it's gone um, but there's still a little bit of life in some of the other uh, shops that are here. One of which is, of course, the gym. Taking up roughly two shop spaces. It's not huge, but big enough. Uh, and outside, you can see that there are, uh, out in the parking lot in front of it, there are uh, several cars that are pimped out, you know, with like running lights underneath. They've got, you know, spinners and so on and so forth. So this is kind of like their hang out in front of the gym uh and you know he comes he comes pulling up and he says yeah that's that's them right there hmm. how many are there uh so he yeah like, so he kind of, he looks over and he says uh uh looks like we're looking at about maybe seven i figure we could probably uh scare off a few if we come in hot How would you propose we come in hot? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a. Anybody want a crowbar? Mm. Well, he was at the fight. Who? He knows. Is there one I, in particular that we need to be focusing he, on? He, know, he knows I can come in hot. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean. That is true. Um, but remember, there's also. I mean, it's a gym. I'm guessing there's video cams and stuff. Um, yeah, is, yeah, there, is there surveillance? For this. Uh, is, this, is this? Is there surveillance in this parking lot? He says, "Oh no, of course not. I mean, if you go up by the 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 buildings, yeah, I'm sure they've got something. But no, this place is too run down for that. They don't even have uh, active security here." Hmm. Don't ask me how I know. Do they see us driving up? I mean, they can see a vehicle pulling up. They don't know it's him right now. Well, I'm going to look at him like I'm, I'm not a crowbar type of person. All I can do is basically work with this. And she just kind of motions towards her body. Okay. Uh, and um, <laughs> I can step out and just walk out. I mean... <laughs> Hey, 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 I tell you, I tell you what, I know what would get their attention and put them on their back heel. It's kind of just came to me. Uh, I know Sparky McBoom Boom here, your friend, uh, has like Leroy, yes. like, uh, like, uh, Leroy from, uh, uh, The Last Dragon. He's got the glow kind of thing. So why don't I'll go I some razzle dazzle? I've got, I, I can, um, <laughs> Uh, so why don't I go up and I get like some, uh, I'll get some cloth or something. I think I've got something in the back here and I'll put it in one of their gas tanks and he hits it with something. Mm -hmm. It's easy enough. I mean, I could do that fairly easy. I mean, if I was a smoker, I'd never need to buy a lighter. <laughs> cool cool yeah so i mean we so we do that that's obviously going to put them on their on their back heels and you know freaking out and even if they 
you know, a, you know, a bunch of people come running out, they're going to think twice about something <laughs> like fragged one of their 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 big vehicles. Plus, if we have to make a run in a hurry, that's one less vehicle they can chase us with. I mean, it's as good a plan as any. Um, or we could do more than one. You... Uh, how many vehicles are there? There's a total of four that are all tricked out. Four. There's a couple out. more, are but all... they're probably unrelated to the the folks that are here. Are all four of these 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 fancy ones? Are these all four of your, your your friends here? Oh yeah. All yeah, they like to fashion themselves like they dropped off the set of Tokyo Drift. Real, real wannabe pricks. Hmm. Is there something that you want? I mean, how, how you want this to go? You want to walk up there and be like, hi, boys, how you doing? And all, and then have them like try to get all huffy with you. And then uh, we decide to uh, play a little boom boom. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I think that, that can work. Like. Yeah. Why, so why don't why don't uh, why don't why don't me and Evie go walking up? We can we can flash our you know our intimidation or something. You kind of stay down in the you know in the shadows where they can't really see, and then it's up to you. Just light it up when you feel when you feel froggy. Well, I've been known I've been known I can I can be a little bit intimidating myself. Hey, if you want to be up there and all of a sudden go you know thunder and lightning on them. My, be my guest. I, I I don't mind. I just figure you know you could do it. I could be a little bit of a shock. I could be a bit of a shocker. I'm 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 a bit more dark skinned than most people here. Yeah, I think I think I can kind of hang back and they just be the little bit of the unknown. So, so that means you're gonna light the cars on fire, or does that mean you're gonna walk I'll up wait with until, us? I'll wait. I'll wait until you guys give the high sign. So okay. I'm gonna look at, at at Abe and I'm like, so what do you literally we're just gonna walk up there what hand in hand? Uh I, I think you should skip. I mean we can if you want. <laughs> I, I'm not opposed to that. I I'm more of a you know hand on the butt type uh type of guy. It, it, you know, if sure. that's the case. But I don't know. I think no, maybe we should, you know. Well, if that's the case, I'm not definitely not walking up with you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like no, i'm a fan of the ladies it's okay oh, it's, it's, it's good that's good i can vouch for that <laughs> he says but uh why don't we just go up we'll, we'll work our intimidation mojo and then sparky mcboom boom here can you know i guess get the cue and light fires and kick tires oh yeah, yeah. i'll come mm -hmm. i'll come in i'll come in hot for you Maybe hey, I mean maybe if we're intimidating enough and and enough stuff blows up that they're gonna think twice to screw around, we might not even have to scrap with them. Which I mean, hey, that'd be cool. I know, but you and I are walking up by ourselves into a group of seven, with four vehicles between them, uh, looking for trouble. Um, okay, they probably they have guns. I'm guessing all this. They probably do. <laughs> this sounds like a suicide mission that we're walking into. <clears throat> uh, stay, or, stay or let's stay positive. Something you could tell your kids about later. Stay behind yeah. the cars. You'll have kids. a shield of fire. As soon as they get hostile. <clears throat> yeah, what he all said. Right. You know what? My my only requirement was that I walk away and able to become to er, able to get on my plane by the time I need to. So, all right, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so he, uh, you know, he parks a little bit away, not right on top of them, obviously, and and gets out, uh, lets Waru get himself, you know, positioned however he wants, uh, and Abe sneaks over uh, after pulling out some, uh, you know. Uh, scraps of cloth from the back of his uh, Hummer. Uh, and because they're busy listening to music and, and BSing in front of the gym, uh, there it's kind of hard to see what, you know, what he's, he's doing. He's sneaks down the side, gets to one of the cars and the one, 
directly across from that and you know shove some in there too so that way it's it's exposed and leaves the uh mm -hmm. the flap open are they in a row like one two three four kind of uh two and two yeah all right All right. So he is sneaking around putting cloth in the gas tanks? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to stay hidden while he's doing that. Sure. Uh, and I'm not sure if there was a specific meeting point he was going to reach, you know, come back to, I'm, I'm guessing, around the corner Yeah, when he, when he gets done with that, he's going to come back and, and get you so you can walk up to the front. Okay. So I'll follow his lead then. Okay. So he goes walking up <laughs> with you right next to him. Uh, and he, he's got uh, the crowbar in his hand uh, at this point. And, uh, you know, he, you know, he shout, he shouts an ethnic slur. <laughs> I will leave that up to the imagination as to what that is. They kind of like turn around and look and, and they start, you know, coming out and they're like, Abe, that isn't exactly flattering to yourself he says yeah but it got your attention didn't it he said uh you know and, and they, they like they're like so you think it's a good idea to roll up on us in our neighborhood and he says yeah sounds kind of crazy doesn't it oh boy <clears throat> and, i'm hanging on him like i'm kind of drunk like you know like <laughs> okay that. That side piece that he picked up somewhere, not really understanding what's going on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's like, and all of a sudden, so, the drunk chick whoops the crap out of you. <laughs> and so they're, and, and so they're, they're, they're like, and you brought your hyena with you too? Like, how crazy are you? And he's like, yeah, you know, probably a little crazy, but I, I, uh, I, I think it's time that uh, you get your due. And they start kind of, you know, laughing amongst one another. He's like, our due? Come on, man. We've got you outnumbered, you know, seven to one, maybe more. And he says, uh, mm. she just laughs at that. Like, <laughs> you're <laughs> hilarious. And they're like, and he's outnumbered. like, outnumbered. <laughs> yeah, you know, about that. And he just, and he just whistles as the, you know, the sign at that point. <clears throat> Flame strike to the first two cars. Okay. Uh, so just go ahead and you're going to burn a two chi total because one and two. Uh, oh, okay. So go Because it's like a line. It's like. Oh, so are you going to stand mm -hmm. uh, to line it up for the, for one shot then? That's kind of what I wanted to okay. do. So Why that not? way I could. I, could I mean, if they were all four right in a row, I could potentially at least blow up two of them and possibly change which, which they're not they're, they're two and two but you can you but can because they're two target. and two i'll yeah. at least be able to get sure. the two okay so go yeah. ahead and burn a, a point of chi roll your um it's uh what is it dexterity and focus to hit when you're just shooting in general no it's uh it's intelligence and focus is it intelligence and focus to hit intelligence and focus it's a focus maneuver no 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 that's for damage Oh, for speed. Yeah, no. When you're, um, I need. Hold oh, on if you're, I need to find the. Oh. Uh, it's oh. it's basically firearm rules for um. Uh, uh, Street Fighter. Uh, oh. So doop. I need to go here. Mm. Space. Hold on a second. Find out how many. That does not help. That does I'm not literally help. like hitting the broadside of a barn here. Oh, you know what? They, uh, when they rewrote this, I don't think they actually even added that anymore. Because there, there used to be um, when you like a fire projectile or whatnot, there was a chance that you could potentially miss, like somebody flying over it or ducking or or whatever. 
perception. No, or? they don't. They don't have that. So uh, go ahead and burn your chi and roll your damage. Oh, okay. And let me go back to my. Where's my? There's my. There's my damage plus three. So my damage is plus three, so it's focus plus three is six. And my intelligence, right? So, so for your six. yeah, for your damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Eight space. What's the difficulty? It's always six. Six. Are you freaking kidding me? One success. <clears throat> That's better than nothing. It's on there. Reroll? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I got a reroll. I, I see. I'm going to uh, use my reroll. Go ahead. You want to try to do better? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to do better. Okay, I see. It, gonna... it, they factored in in a kind of line of sight thing. Okay. If you're dealing with multiple people. Six Whoa! successes. So if I have, yes. I have to have one of my one of my stats has to be four or greater, right? Yes. To get the blow up. Uh, okay, it so... doesn't blow up for damage. Oh, that's oh okay, damage, yeah. nope. But that's okay. still amazing. Well, yeah, I got six out of eight, and I'm burning, or I've raced my reroll now because I did have one. Okay, so could you? So it's yeah, it's almost max. It power lights right up. There. Uh, it, 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 it gets a little bit brighter behind you guys for a moment. And you can see all the eyes are off of you, you two, for a second. And they're like, what the heck is that? And there's a, a little bit of a delay, obviously, with the fire as it's as, as it strikes the uh, uh, the cars. Uh, and, of course, starts to ignite the um, uh, the cloths that are that, that are jammed into the gas tanks. And they, you know, they turn around, and they they look at Abe and they're like, Abe, what the heck do you think you're doing? And he says, I'm getting a little crazy. And the next thing you know is Kadoosh. Like they just <laughs> they they blow up one right after the <laughs> big balls of fire coming up. Uh um, and at this point, like it rocks the uh, uh light post in the uh God. the parking the parking lot that is <clears throat> nearby, and people from inside the gym come like running out at this point. Oh my Oh my God. <laughs> uh, and why don't you, um, Rachel? Are oh you, my God. Are you attempting to look, uh, to look mean now, or are you still trying to look, uh, um, like his girlfriend? I'm still trying to look like his girlfriend, okay. even though I'm quite surprised at <laughs> the level of uh, of uh, flames. Okay. Um. All right, so they they turn they in turn, um, they're, they look around and you know they're they're pissed. A couple people, um, probably the ones whose cars have blew up, uh, they come they come running in and he's you know kind of gripping that uh, that crowbar. The rest of them are giving you guys a wide berth. So like three of them come running in, uh, mm. and it is now uh, combat. Initiative. So choose your maneuvers wisely. Um, it, Derek, you are still a ways back, roughly six hexes worth. Um, so okay. if you want to stay back and mm. fire at them, you can. Otherwise, you'll have to run in uh, to combat. So am I within range of the other two cars? Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, they don't have anything you know, like in the gas tanks themselves. You, you would just be essentially lighting them on fire like you know trying to set fire to the interior or whatnot well if i throw a flame strike right up underneath the engine then you know kind of thing you know well it's it, um you or are you, they in are the doors open no no yeah so i mean if you did that sure but it's not it's not a guaranteed explosion at that point there are the systems are seeing right and unfortunately, you don't have any accelerant on the ground to keep the fire right. alive. So once you fire your shot, it's stream of fire and then it's extinguished. Although it could cause damage, it probably, I mean, it's its almost inevitable as long as there's a little bit of damage done that it's going to do damage to the softer parts of the vehicle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'm However, not saying you can't do damage. Yeah. You're just not going to get the same explosive effect. 
Right. Okay. All right. Well, so do I need just just roll? Uh... Yeah, well, that's why I was asking. When it comes to fighting, okay. if you're going to go hand to hand, you're going to need to run it. Uh, okay. If yeah. you want to attack them via your fire strike, you can just go ahead and roll speed for fire strike. Okay, then I'll just roll speed for spire. I'll roll feed <laughs> for spire spite. Okay. What he said. Yeah, what he said. Yeah. And Colin, Colin's all great balls of fire. Uh, what rhymes with eloquent? <laughs> they eloquent call me Mr. Know it all. I am so eloquent. Perfection is my middle name. My middle name. Rhymes with eloquent. Um, let's see here. I need to roll R. Uh, let's see, one D ten, and I'm going to add a plus. That's my speed. Wits, wits, and I just need to make sure that I'm looking at the right thing. It is a minus Juan. So if I'm going off of my wits, then I have a three speed. So let me see, go back to this one D10 plus tree, right? Yeah. I'm on sevens. Sevens, right? What do you mean? Yeah, your D10 plus three, so seven total. Yeah. So uh, I'm sorry. So you're you're, so you are just fire striking the uh, vehicles, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the vehicles have a soak of three. Okay. So roll your damage. And, okay. And that is. Let me look back at my character sheet here. It's plus three. So intelligence plus your focus, and then whatever you have for the bonus for flame strike. Mm -hmm. So two, three, five. That's the eight again. Yep. So I do there. Space eight six. Oh, if this would, if, if damage blew up, I'd have uh, like, damn. I'd have seriously like 10 successes. You, you hit their ancestors. Like. <laughs> Three tens, a nine, two eights, and a six. Oh and, a four. God. and a four. Emotional <laughs> damage. Um, and a four. And a four. You're funny. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, so Colin wants to remind you that the Fire Nation is recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> so you just you do a do a rip with your arm as a stream of fire goes racing across the ground and starting to you know burninate the uh, the the vehicles. The countryside, yes. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, and at that point, um, they come running in. One is coming at you, uh, Rachel. Two are coming at Abe. Um, but okay. like right as one of them comes running in, he he ends up yell he he ends up yelling, "Oh, you want some?" And Flash kicks them like they run right <laughs> into it with their chin. Just boom, boom, gets <laughs> gets connected with it with a. Uh, oh, Abe does that. Yeah, with with a flash okay. kick. So there's a you know a flash of, of light sort of thing, and they get drilled really hard, you know, stumbling backwards down on the ground. The other guy ends up getting a free shot on him, and you know, slugs him you know in the shoulder as he's as he's coming back down. But didn't look like it you know it phased Abe all that much. Uh, Rachel, uh, what are you doing for speed? Um, I'm I'm gonna go and do a double hit kick. I'm gonna try it out. Okay. Uh, oh, I got eleven by the way, total speed. Okay, so you are acting before this person. Okay, cool. So, They're basically uh, trying to come running in with a fierce punch. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I will uh, roll myself off his arm and just be like, oh, you want to play? And just sort of does her number. Okay. Uh, so what's so the soak? Soak of three. Uh, sorry. Soak of three. Okay. Uh, 
gonna do this twice. And one. <laughs> so one. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Out of five. I'm sorry, you re-rolled? Um, double hit kick. Oh, it's double hit hits. kick. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, so the first one, you step into, uh, you, end, you end up, like, catching him kind of low, like, it brushed off his uh, uh his thigh, didn't really do, clearly, a whole lot. Nice. Made your look. The second you. one, however, <laughs> right as he, right as you, you're bringing it up for the finish, so you, you, you boom, and then, bam. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and if you ever need to know, I know you've actually seen some of these movies before, but Sean Claude Van Damme does a a, a a a pretty good style double hit kick, like because he was kicked a lot. If you watch mm -hmm. his movies, he tends to do, in essence, what the double hit kick uh, in Street Fighter is uh, supposed to do. So he's like, bah, bah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and with the second one, you uh, you hit him so hard, he's like loopy, like he came running and you cracked him right in the jaw you heard the the snap with that kick and then he's just kind of like you know doing this like trying to put his hands up to protect himself but he is clearly dizzy die, die, die. <laughs> so next uh, round at this I, point i can't do anything else yeah mm -hmm. okay oh new round of stuff oh, yeah. right my other chicharrones got taken out all right so derek are you still igniting the other cars <laughs> or are you gonna join um, the uh, combat i think i'm joining combat i guess okay so you're just gonna uh move then to get closer um yes okay so i have how far away am i six six hexes on oh i'm six hexes yes mm. Is there anybody else that's closer besides the guy that I just wailed on? There, there was a total of three people that came running in. One, one caught a flash kick. One, one okay. punched Abe, and then the other one just got dizzied with your double hit kick. Okay. Okay. All right. So I guess I mean I'm too far away. I don't even have anything. Even my, even if I were to jump. Or because well, what how many spots can you move? Is it your dexterity? No, it's your athletics. Oh, your athletics. Athletics oh. uh, athletics is what uh, you have for your move. So some maneuvers will only have one period, like power uppercut. Some won't have any. Right. Others are a little fluid that gives you either it takes away from your athletics or it adds to it because the maneuver is, you know, kind of distance based. Like uh cartwheel kick, for example, is like that. It adds plus to adds your, pluses because yeah. yeah well i've only got an athletics of a one so i'm just strolling in okay well i mean if you do the move maneuver that's going to get you right. there next round okay so i'm just coming in and i'm just like yep. and i do have a four intimidation so i'm i think i've already established myself as a force to be reckoned with <laughs> i'm a bit of a hothead now like so you come you come rumbling yeah. in at this point okay so uh at this point abe uh you know he ended up getting clocked by the one guy and so he's like oh see so you want some too grabs a hold of, of this other guy by the hair and starts mm. ha and starts having to meet his knee and starts ragdolling him knee with, with knee basher exactly hey i learned that from your mom <laughs> <laughs> uh and so rachel you are so you're at 11, I'm on what, 11 are you, again. what are you doing um i was doing a tiger knee oh um, okay to tiger. the dizzy person to not the guy that i just well, you know what? Sure, I'll do it to the dizzy guy. It's not an official recorded fight. So. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, there's no dishonor for this. Yeah, so I will do that. Uh, and Soka 3, you said, so... Perfect! Oh! <laughs> 
Yay. Okay. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, after the damage you already dished out, you snap up real quick with, uh, uh, you know, with uh, that flying knee strike of yours. Tiger knee! And just, that guy crumples, like, right in front of you guys. Uh-huh. Uh, and so, uh, what you end up seeing at this point, uh, as Waru comes uh, comes running up and standing right next to you guys, um, everybody give me a uh, manipulation and intimidation check. So, like, add manipulation and intimidation? Yep, and then roll. I'm so glad I'm not there. All right. Um, I'm scary. <laughs> with a name like the Hunter, oh, yeah, you would hope so. And um, with my int- int- alertness, does my ten blow up? Uh, with your alertness, or I mean, my intimidation of a four, does that blow up? Then? Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay, two, so four, then five, I have six, two, seven, four, six, 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 seven, six. So yeah. So that um so between everything that happened and of course you come running up and they saw mm-hmm. that you know you were tossing fire out like a firebender mm-hmm. at that point. Yeah, the, the the rest of the group like disperses and the people that were <laughs> that were uh that came out to watch from the gym, they either run back inside or they start running to either side of the uh shopping center at this point. Like people are they're they're just dispersing like you know, roaches underneath a, a spotlight. <laughs> Do, uh, can I make a perception check? Does anybody recording this shit on their phone? Uh, go what ahead. Sure, this? go ahead and check. Uh, it is uh, difficulty is seven. Okay. Uh, the year you guys are playing in is uh, current year. Oh, that's true. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so, so standard technology is today. Alertness. Yeah, so you're going to be looking up perception and alertness, difficulty seven. Okay. Perception. Hmm? Where's perception? Nope. Oh, perception. Nope. Botch. <laughs> Do I notice? Okay, you I don't roll. see anything. Um. focus on the fire that erupted difficulty seven difficulty seven five six oh my god That's you are that. on a roll tonight he's trying to make up for that loss last uh last <laughs> <day>. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's just like fire for you and fire for you and intimidation I'm like for freaking, you i'm like freaking <laughs> oprah <laughs> fire for you fire for you fire for everybody <laughs> oh so, uh so while as you guys take a moment real quick to ta- uh to look around no nobody is is actually examining this with the explosions and everything that went off people are running and ducking for cover okay oh you think you think we should get the hell out of here oh yeah yeah we 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 did we did yeah, plenty we done so he take he takes the crowbar and you know whacks one of them in the, in the head you know one more time just to get the point across, uh, and he says, "Yeah, let's get out of here." Okay, so she'll skip to whatever the car we're at and <laughs> mm-hmm. and leaving you know the 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 two the two wrecks and the the two uh, seriously scorched vehicles. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're probably leaking like antifreeze or something like that because the flame just melting one of the hoses or something like that. Who knows? So, well, that's not our problem. Yeah. So you guys <laughs> get back in the Hummer and he hightails it out of there and hitting the uh, the highway to, uh, to make you know to make your way back to uh, Bay City. And he's like, "Yeah, that's what I'm talking about." Show those, say, that was, show those pricks. That was calling a coup. Cool, because you, you, it's not very often I get a I, I get it unleashed like that. You did amazing, Water. So Evie, you need epic. to let him like loose every once in a while. Let let my man just get his fire on at, at some point. I didn't realize he could do all that. To be honest, like 
water. I had no idea. She's like, <laughs> why? <laughs> She's like, flame on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. <laughs> you know, out of character. The next step is just elemental skin where I'm just like this walking ball of fire and I'm just like, I mean, bring you know it. what? I think at, at that point, <laughs> the intimidation probably needs to go up to five, too, at least during that action. Trey, your cards are right. <laughs> you live to talk about it. The yeah. specialty fireball. Uh, yeah. So, and he's flying down the, uh, yeah, he's the Outback doll scene. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's flying down the freeway at this point, you know, just thoroughly jazzed, you know, uh, about what's happening. And so he, uh, you know, he takes the screen that's on his uh, um, his a his H2 uh, and pulls it up and he can see that social media is reporting. You know, some folks are reporting mm -hmm. about it on social media and, and it's just like fiery cars, you know, you know at this point, uh, you know, they're they're talking about how uh you know some group came and and firebombed the place and you know scared mm -hmm. the you know living bejesus out of people but obviously you know like another person comments you know it's like yeah well given who they are it's not like they're going to go to the cops mm -hmm. you know that you know that sort of thing uh, and you, of course you've got some other uh, people putting down fire emojis and uh, you know, or just getting in on, you know, wowing because you know, the vehicle, you know, vehicles that were probably pretty expensive, you know, went up in, you know, went up in flames. Um, <laughs> and so he, uh, and so as he's getting, finally getting back into Bay City, uh, on the freeway he says, all right, Evie, he says, you need to give me your, your, your deets. I need to, I need to pay you guys for this unless you want cash. Um. Uh, cash, yeah, always preferred, but I mean, you want to sell it to me? <laughs> I mean, I can, um, I don't, but prefer if you want that, I prefer cash, but all right, well, um, ooh, you know what? The banks aren't gonna open in time for you to leave. Oh my god, I you so really are do, do you have, do you have that, 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 that's a Venmo thing. <laughs> Oh, of course. Don't Everybody, have it, everybody's don't. got that. I mean, so I can send it to you electronically if that's the case. Um, I can get part of it in cash if you want. Obviously, there's ATM limits. That's the only thing you got to worry about at this time of night. Uh, yeah, uh, I will take part cash and part the rest because, yeah. All right, cool. So he rolls up to uh, an ATM and has you guys, and you know, wait for a second. 3,000, right? What's that? 3,000, right? He says, oh, no, not for that. No, 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 no. And so he mm -hmm. you know, puts in his card and gets uh, you know, the $500 limit uh, and hands you guys cash. Uh, so you got 500 from that. And he says, uh, he says, no, 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 not no, for that. No, I'm going to I'm going to give you a, a 4,500 plus the 500, obviously, that oh. you, you got. Um, well, that was just too cool, generous. made the point and like. Probably going to make the news. I, I, I'm all right with that. They can suck it. As long as we keep our names out of it, you know, I uh, I appreciate the uh, the upgrade. No, no, I, I'm i cool like that. I'm not going to put your guy's name to anything. Not going to implicate my girl. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, so, at this point, then, we're uh, going to be dropped off, I assume, to... Yeah, if you tell Our him where hotel. your hotel is, he'll he'll drop you he'll drop you guys off there. Okay, so um, I am going to um, drop Wadu off, and I'm going to go back to his hotel, and then <laughs> I and see. then uh, get an Uber back. <laughs> gotcha. He <laughs> saxophone music. Yeah. Uh, if I wouldn't get copyright stricken uh, when that happens, <laughs> I have that clip. Uh, but YouTube is uh, uh, is kind of uh, sticky about that. So actually, okay. hold up. Colin's hold up. like, Evie, no. I know, yeah. <laughs> and she's just saying, oh, yes. 
So, um, given everything that's happened, why don't you just roll your stamina? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have stamina five, so, you know. I'm going to burn a willpower for an auto. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm in it to win it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Colin's all oh good god <laughs> well he's not here it's his loss uh, okay I'm sorry I think I did that wrong um, sorry so it's uh, slash uh, hold on, I did it as R, R, that's why. Right. yeah it's slash MM oh what? oh it was a good thing that you spent that willpower the old shit. I wouldn't don't want to be bad at sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break even. That's fine. I'll <laughs> break <better>. even. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that being what it is, so you guys get dropped off. Um <laughs> new Street Fighter name. Evie the Pillow Princess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you have familiarity with him, dude. So, uh, so, so, so you, so you got forty five hundred in your in your Venmo, then basically. Yeah, I'm all split with you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> get paid for the. Well, I'm, sex, I'm not. I'm not out real. of character. I'm not worried about it. I just want. I just. Yeah. yeah so five hundred cash. Yeah. Uh, forty five hundred. Mm-hmm. Uh, paid electronically, obviously, so you guys can yeah. divvy that up, uh, however you want. Um, yeah, uh, you went out obviously getting into too much detail there. Uh, Evie's pushing it. Uh, she, by the time you get back to your hotel, you're doing that walk of shame. Yeah, you're, you're just, you're okay. just like, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it, 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 if you don't, you know, make it everlasting, I guess, in another state or country, you know, why not? <laughs> sure. Okay. So uh, she'll <laughs> have a couple of Red Bulls and slam them, and then basically just show up enough with enough time to take a quick, quick shower and then go. Okay. Basically. Evie, uh, you're looking rough this morning. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about probably the extent of <laughs> what happened. She's just giving you a look. What? Of, I had a very invigorating night you said you were going to make money so uh oh i did (laughs) i guess there's all sorts of ways to make money for the branch are we um (laughs) oh i I didn't make money for that (laughs) i'm just recording my my pocket money my cash that i have did we split that 500 just straight across as far as cash money oh um so she, I uh, he handed it to you. So I'm just I'm just wondering how much you handed me. <laughs> um, I will split it uh, what four ways? Uh, me uh, no three ways actually. Um, no three no four ways. Sorry. What um, your the money you just but, made? You're going to split four ways. Well, the with. Our other guy, I mean, technically, oh, dang it, I want to be nice. <laughs> what are you going to tell him about where that money came from? Oh, wait, wait, I, we, 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 we put our asses on the line here. We really did. I mean, we can, um, we can, we can contribute. Um, I don't mind putting in, you know, this was to kind of help us compensate for what we were short from, uh, from yeah, what was I left mean, over we from the short. debt, but. Five hundred dollars. So the five hundred dollars we, uh, we made up and then some. Uh, I'm then sorry, we could, um, we John. We could we could put some uh, definitely put some of this into the ranch. Yeah, I mean, uh, we ended up getting uh, we we had an additional fight tonight that paid us about five thousand, and uh, um. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically the we have a little bit to go towards the ranch and also towards the team. Um, so yeah, we we actually came out on on top this time. Well, I'm I'm glad you're able to get on top last night. Oh, I did very much. 
Um, but you know, no complaints. Oh God, I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. <laughs> so cash wise, just want to make sure we get it written down. So cash wise, yeah. All right. So let me do the math here. So we needed 400 or sorry, 500. We earned 5,000 total. So mm -hmm. we have 4,500 to um, split between the rest of us. Um, as far as the extra um i do feel that people should get still still get paid so um dang it i'm not a business person i'm gonna give each of them 500 bucks for now see i'm fighting my instinct here because i am a business person so I know. <laughs> so 1500 i'm gonna pay out to them um, total, which is basically the, the 500 piece. Um, and that should give us 3,000 left. So I will put that towards the ranch. Um, and by default, honestly, towards the team. Uh, okay, so opinion. so say this again. You've got 1,500 or so so I, I gave you each five hundred dollars a piece, including myself. So that's fifteen hundred there. Uh, I'm not including Colin on this because he's not here. So interested. Um, and the rest of it, which is the three thousand, I'm going to use towards the ranch as well as the team. Uh, I don't really have a way to divide that up just yet. Okay, so so, so hold on, hold on a second. So that was fifteen hundred. So that's fifteen hundred. So out of the forty five hundred, and, and then the five, then the five hundred to pay off the rest of the debt. So that yes. makes two k, right? Well, then, I counted it as forty five hundred minus the five hundred. So forty five hundred minus fifteen hundred is three thousand left. Yeah. So and that so three k is the left rest of it. the ranch and three k is um, to the ranch. Uh, to the ranch and to our team, basically, I kind of considered all. Uh, right now, I consider the ranch and the team are the same thing, yeah, pretty much. I consider it the same. So thing we've got, we've got, moment. we've got a, we've got a business account, effectively, one yes. way or the other, yes. with a balance of three k. Yes. Okay. Just making sure I have it all square. Cool. No, cool. I, I appreciate you double checking. So yeah, that's. Okay. And so, Good. so we're coming out. And so before we wrap on uh, America. Mike, you've got the key. Did you want to do anything with that or just hold on to it? Or well, I mean, I was waiting to see if we actually made it to the airport. Yeah, I'm going to bring yes. by the walker. Okay. So, what, why would we not? <laughs> well, because we hadn't got there yet. Yeah, no, I, was, I wasn't sure because sometimes people forget and they just go ahead and sometimes I'll just let them go on it. <laughs> no, I, I had it, but I was... These guys were doing math for the last twenty nope, minutes. Nope, that's so. that is fine. Just well, make sure. sorry, I didn't major you, in it. You said math, right? <laughs> 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 we're not that tired. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't dropped into those de depths. <laughs> but yeah, when when we do go to the airport, mm -hmm. uh, um, I'm just I'm just going to head for the lockers. Okay. I mean, there's no. rows upon rows of them. It'll take some time for you to find it, but you guys gave yourself enough by getting there early, so it's it's not like mm -hmm. it'll be impossible to track it down. You just have to look. I mean, at the, the key, key have a number on it. Yeah. Okay, so I find it. So it takes you about a half hour uh, of going back and forth and, and double checking as you're going up and down. You still have like hour and a half, you know, to finish check in and and get ready for the flight. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, give me perception and investigation difficulty seven. Shit. Are we all her? together, or did you tell us what's going on? No. Okay. So okay, so just him. Okay. Well, I I might I mean I probably like, hey guys, I'm looking for locker two thirteen. Help me out here. Okay. Um, and I would ask, why in the world do you have a locker here at the airport? Uh, one success. 
Um, I'll tell you on the plane. Okay, so you you manage to find the locker. You kind of glance yeah. around, and you know there's obviously a lot of foot traffic coming in and out as as uh, people are are making their way through the uh, international airport, getting to their flight, or you know debarking. Uh, or deboarding, I should say. Um, debarking would be getting out a tree and shaving it down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you worried about being? Are you, are you worried about being watched? What's... Yeah. And uh, Mike, there is somebody uh, kind of watching that vicinity. Hard to say why, but they've definitely kind of got their eye on that bank of lockers oh hey you you, you what what's this in, you need some help man uh maybe what's up hey, Evie. <laughs> you, you want me to uh, oh make God. a distraction or something i could use a distraction yeah hey, hey, who right are you there. looking at i don't know who, whoever wants to help out but i need a i need like 10 seconds here who are you looking? Who, who, did you notice somebody or something? Yeah, that guy right there. He points it oh, out what? to us. <laughs> right. On your left. He's like, him! Right there! <laughs> uh, so Derek, as, as he kind of tries to nonchalantly point that out, give me a perception and investigations check. Difficulty 7. Okay, so... All right. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right. So you're kind of like it wasn't, it wasn't it wasn't a botch, but it was a failure. Right, it's a failure. Yeah. So you're like looking around, you don't have any idea who he's talking about. Would yeah. I be able to look? You could certainly give it a shot. Perception investigations, okay. difficulty seven. All I have is perception. I don't have any investigation. I just you let me use my alertness, I can. Yeah, it's like I got alertness. <laughs> Mm -hmm. two. two okay so waru's kind of looking around and he's lost he doesn't really he, he's almost looking mm -hmm. like stevie doesn't wonder at this point this. <laughs> uh, just kind of like looking around you kind of glance over at the vague uh uh direction that uh john gave for good reason obviously you don't want to be super noticeable uh and you spot a a guy just casually dressed he's you know just t-shirt and jeans Looks like he's got a bag slung over his shoulder, but you know, every so often he does seem to be looking in that direction where the uh, the lockers are at. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to sort of side spot, like in my peripheral, that guy, and I'm just going to look towards them and think that that guy is going to, yeah, he's watching whatever. So I'm going to create the distraction. I'm going to walk up with my luggage rolling behind me just sort of slowly uh in the line of sight you know just sort of walking casually towards them but end up next to them okay and so how do you plan on distracting them um well with my assets amazing curves. yeah that's what i thought okay <laughs> go ahead and I don't know what else to do i mean Fuck, guys. <laughs> That's fine. Go ahead and roll your uh, appearance. And we'll say, um, I don't have performance here. So we'll go with. Uh, intimidation? No. <laughs> what? I'm not intimidating to them? Uh, that is weird. Um, I, I'm really going to reach out to this guy when I have a chance to get him to update that sheet. I would rather have uh, the standard B20 um, stuff because then it's, I know it's already all there. Um, So then I guess it would just be subterfuge. Okay. Do I still have the bonus for the Pretty sure I don't because at this point I'm looking a little bit ragged because I haven't had any sleep. 
Uh, no, yeah, you don't have that. So you, you'd be at a four. Okay. Uh, and the difficulty is? Uh, about six. Hmm. Four. Oh. Yes. So we'll go difficulty six. <laughs> I mean, and I do have a four in appearance, by yes, the way. So two, four, five, six. Dang. How mm -hmm. you doing? <laughs> yeah. How you doing? So he, you know, he and takes a moment. Are he, a bit tight. Yeah. So he turns and looks away, you know, for a moment, just like he was looking around. And as you come walking, you know, kind of right up as he turns back around, you know, the girls on full display <laughs> uh, sort of thing, very clearly, you know, distracting, you know, he, his eyes, meet your body sort of thing and and just can't help but look away you just with that role you're just way too much you got that raunchy mm -hmm. trombone music in the mm -hmm. background and i will <laughs> catch the eye if i can of like hey <laughs> yeah so he i mean yeah he he clearly responds in kind he's just like uh hey <laughs> hey <laughs> and mike you and... you see this at this point like it He's completely distracted from whatever else it was going on. Evie's got his full attention. Mm -hmm. uh, you're muted. You're still muted still. Muted. Yep, Mike is still muted. muted. Looks like I might be on the actual All right. video. Oh, God. Um, there you yeah. go. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go open the locker, scoop out whatever's in it, walk away. Okay. Uh, so why don't you just give me a dex and stealth check? Um, difficulty four at this point. Oh. Is stealth even a skill we get? Yeah. Yes, it is. Street it. Whatever. You said stealth and dex. Ooh. Ew. I, I, I could I could excel at this. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Three successes though. Ooh, wow. Hey, uh, Mike, it was actually difficulty four. Still three successes, but <laughs> hmm. just letting you know. <laughs> <coughs> so you're good to go. So you get over there real quick. You wait and time it when a couple people are going to be walking by just to give you some additional cover real quick. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Like you waste no time. Just you don't even look. You just unlock it, grab and then get a move on. Yep. I'll get the book. Is there anything but the book in there? Uh, no, it, it's just it's literally like one of those little black books that that can uh, that's a little too big to fit in a back pocket, but it can fit in a All coat right. pocket, no problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put it in a jacket pocket and keep my hand on it as I'm uh, as as we head for the gate. Okay. No problem. So you uh, at, at that point, uh, Rachel, you see, uh, you know. At that point, John is already back waiting mm -hmm. next to Waru again. And I will do a sort of wink at the guy in one of those toodaloo type motions of, all right, time for me to go. And I will get onto the plane or get onto the whatever tram or train we're catching sure. to our flight. So it's one of those one of those moments like he was he was like, wait, 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 wanted you know, your your number or something and you're mm -hmm. already gone. Nope, too late. <laughs> okay, so uh, that is what we're going to stop for tonight. That's uh, two and a half hours uh, of game at, at that point. So good job, guys. Real good job. So our next game would be yeah. November the 30th. Should be okay. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Okay. Barring any more ear infections. Right, yep. Yeah. Or, so my second uh, one, unless or one. Mike and his devil's <laughs> lung. Yeah, my lungs don't kill me by then. <laughs> so John uh, our... gets the black book with sexy <laughs> distraction from <laughs> Evie. Yep. So, you know what? Um, I don't mind sex cells, okay? That it does. <laughs> so uh, you that family feud with uh like there there's a dude and a chick on the other side, and they're like, distract him, and she starts bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. She's not that gaudy. Jesus. 
So next week, just play uh, a drunk hooker. That's so all. our next our next game coming up is uh because we're not having a game this Saturday because uh, of prior commitments. Uh, it will be Vampire the Masquerade, uh, Ashland by Night on the twenty fourth, uh, and then on the twenty fifth we're doing our Marvel superheroes game, uh, Mar- um, Modern Age Heroes, and then of course uh, the week after that we'll be back with Cyberpunk and Street Fighter. So. Thank you all to everybody who tuned in and chatted with us. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this on the replay on Twitch and YouTube. And we're signing off. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye.